inflict pain or to scare someone as little to you or vulnerable. Vulnerability is in everyone in this room right now. So how can one truly be vulnerable to another that's already vulnerable? See, in our generation, bullying in person isn't something that's very common now. Everybody knows we have Instagram, Snapchat, and occasionally Twitter, but cyberbullying is way, way big of a problem now. And I mean, we have to let it stop before the generation and the world come to the seas as it is now. Because as I know, many of you parents out there, you get complaints saying, oh, mom, well, this person said this and this person said that, especially the little ones that's middle school and elementary. I know it's hard, I know it's tough. I've been a victim. This isn't about me, it's about us as a community and as people. So I don't want to get on any racial thing, but take pigmentation out of everybody. What do you have left? You have a race that's not really a race. We're just humans at that point. So how can you be racial to someone and saying blacks cause inflictment onto whites? And whites are the reason that blacks are dying and black life matters and all life matters. We're all humans. We're all one people, one species. Man up above is God. I serve him as one. Right. He made us all men from heaven above. So if God said to love your neighbor as thy love thyself, then why aren't you doing that? So I just want to do something for a minute. I know you might not know the people beside you, but if you can just tell them something nice or a comment, you're beautiful. You look good. We need love in here, y'all. We need it. No more bullying. Stop the bullying. Father trying to overcome my past. You don't have to be my friend, but is that too much to ask? Corner, you pass me all the street. 